So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about uh, the PIB news from 28th to 21st of February 2023. Okay. So without any delay, let's begin with the class and let's talk about the very first question, which is about techno techs. Okay. So Ministry of Textiles will be organizing India's premier show on technical textile, which is Technotex 2023. This is the 2023 edition of Technotex, right? And it will be organizing, uh, the, the ministry will be organizing this event in Mumbai, in Maharashtra for promotion of technical textiles. So the question is not about the Technotex. The question is about the Indian textiles market. Okay, so the Indian textile, technical textile market is the dash largest in the world, which is sized at dash in financial year 2021-22. Okay, so let's talk about it and then we will come back to the question. So it is the Ministry of Textile which is headed by Piyush Goyal that uh, will be organizing this premier show on technical textile that is Technotex and of course the objective of this show is to promote the technical textile. Now what is technical textile by the way? So basically these are those textiles which has certain industrial applications industrial application or you know technical applications like for example jo seat belt hoti hai car ki ya jo airbag ka fabric hota hai textile hota hai right all these are technical textile now organizers ki baat kare to as i told you it is being organized by the ministry of textile in collaboration with fikki kiske sath fikki ke sath which is federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry and of course the host state is maharashtra because it is being uh, conducted, it is being organized in Mumbai. Okay, or Mumbai, so we all know, Maharashtra is there. But there are four partner states as well. Okay, you need to remember the name of partner states, which are Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, and West Bengal. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, and West Bengal are the four partner states. And the first edition of this Technotex was organized in the year 2011. Okay, way back in 2011, and this is the tenth edition. Now talking about Indian technical textile market, so that is sized at $22.5 billion in financial year 22 and it is fifth largest in the world. Okay? Fifth largest technical textile market in the world, India ka hai and it is sized at $22.5 billion in the previous financial year. Okay? So that is all about Technotex and now let's come back to the question. So. What is the uh, market size? $22.5 billion, which is here only. So option D is the correct answer. Fifth largest in $22.5 billion, option D. Let's move ahead to question number two then. Learning teaching material for foundational state, which is also known as Jadui Pitara, as envisaged under NEP 2022 was launched recently. Identify incorrect statement about Jadui Pitara. So the Ministry of Education has launched Jadui Pitara and this Jadui Pitara is nothing but learning teaching material for foundational stage for the children who are in the age group of 3 to 8 years, right? This is basically a learning and teaching material for foundational stage for the children who are in the age group of 3 to 8 years and this Ministry of Education is calling as Jadui Pitara, okay? It is a play-based learning teaching material tailored for the children, as I told you, who are in the age group of 3 to 8 years and it has been developed. It has been developed by NCRT under National Curriculum Framework. National Curriculum Framework by NCRT. It is currently available in 13 Indian languages and, and uh, it will be developed in more Indian languages in future. Uh, the, the, some of the regional languages will also be included, right? And it comprises of playbooks, toys, puzzles, posters, flashcards, storybooks, worksheets, with the help of which the children in this age group will be able to learn. So that is all. And let's identify the incorrect statement. It was launched by Ministry of Education. Yes. And remember, this ministry is headed by Dharmendra Pradhan. It is play-based learning teaching material tailored for children between age group of 3 to 8 years. This is it is developed under NCF by CBSC. It is developed under NCF but not by CBSC but by NCRT. So this statement is incorrect. And this should be the correct answer to this question, option C. Moving ahead to question number 3. 
दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन गाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वेर वेल दर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट एंड फर्स्ट इंक्लूसिव डेवलप डिजेबल्ड पार्क अनुभूति इंक्लूसिव पार्क कम अप विद फैसिलिटीज फॉर ऑल ट्वेंटी वन टाइप्स ऑफ डिजेबिलिटीज राइट सो वी हैव अ पर्सन विद डिजेबिलिटीज एक्ट विच आइडेंटिफाइज ट्वेंटी वन टाइप्स ऑफ डिजेबिलिटीज फॉर सो फॉर ऑल ट्वेंटी वन टाइप्स ऑफ डिजेबिलिटी दिस पार्क विल कम अप एंड इट्स फाउंडेशन स्टेन हैज बिन लेक डाउन इन नागपुर ठीक है ये कहां पर बन रहा है नागपुर में बन रहा है right so it is the world's largest it will be the world's largest and unique disabled park right and the name is anubhuti inclusive park and it is being con constructed in nagpur in maharashtra theek hai remember isko kaun bana raha hai it is being developed by nagpur uh, improvement trust and the ministry of social justice and empowerment has given an amount of rupees 12 crore for its development right it is being constructed in 90000 square feet of area facilities as i told you the facilities will be available for all the 21 types of disabilities and some of the facilities include touch and smell garden hypotherapy unit water therapy independent room for mentally challenged children mother etc okay so some of these facilities uh, will be all all these facilities will be available or bhi bahut sari facilities wahan pe available hongi okay for all the 21 types of disabilities identified under PWD Act, Person with Disabilities Act, ठीक है? Okay, so that is all about this news. छोटा ही है, अभी ज़्यादा इसमें है नहीं कुछ. Question number three था. Yes, so it is being constructed or it will come up in Nagpur, the city of oranges. And who is Lok Sabha MP from Nagpur? Nitin Gadkari, Minister of uh, Road Transport and Highway. Option D is the correct answer. Question number four पे आ जाते हैं. Which ministry is organizing seminar on building capacities among Shanghai Cooperation Organization partner nations for skill training and nurturing a new generation of entrepreneurs in New Delhi right <clears throat> so when we are talking about skill training the answer must be the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and yes that is the answer it is the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship which is organizing this seminar of SCO member nation SCO is Shanghai Cooperation Organization remember SCO was established in the year 2001 and it is political economic and uh, you know military organization military welfare organization for the eurasian region eurasian region theek hai and there are eight members in sco now kuch din pehle maine aapko aatho members ka naam bataya tha in fact we have discussed about sco in detail few classes back so can you tell me the name of eight members of sco and you should know it when you are preparing for any competitive examination tell me uh, the names of the eight members of sco and yes let me give you an hint india pakistan are also there india joined sco membership in the year 2017 2017 mein pakistan ke sath india ne sco ki membership join kari thi all right so this seminar will be on building capacities among shanghai cooperation organization partner nations in the area of entrepreneurship and skill development this seminar is focused on skill training and nurturing a new generation of entrepreneurs and india has presented its best practices on digital transformation across different sectors in areas of health education uh, etc etc okay so is seminar mein aur kuch aapko padhne ki zarurat nahi hai there is uh, you know isse zyada aapko required nahi hai for the examination okay now let's come back to the question so it is the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship which has organized this seminar and therefore option c is the correct answer let's talk about question number 5 then which security and law enforcement agency of india will be hosting the 18th edition of world security Con congress in jaipur in rajasthan so it will be organized by rpf railway protection force in jaipur and of course jaipur is in rajasthan the theme will be railway security strategy responsive and vision for the future railway security strategy responses and vision for the future is the theme and there are four sub themes as well these are protecting critical assets and freight human security approach best railway security tools and practices across the world and vision 2030 theek hai so it will be organized by railway protection force along with international union of railways theek hai international union of railways remember it is headquartered in paris and it gives a common platform to solve all the railways related problems across the world 
ठीक है ये एक प्लेटफॉर्म है जहां पे द पार्टनर कंट्रीज कैन डिस्कस द मैटर्स रिलेटेड टू रेलवे सेक्टर ठीक है एंड डिवाइस द सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट ऑल्सो राइट नाउ या दीज आर सम ऑफ द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट आई यू आर इंडियन यूनियन ऑफ रेलवे the objective is to promote interoperability and standardization of railway transport and to increase cooperation and sharing of best practices in the railway sector it is headquartered in paris and it was established around 100 years back in the year 1922 all right so now let's come back to the question so rpf option b railway protection force is the correct answer Let's move ahead now, guys, to the next question. So now the questions in short are there, which do not need much explanation. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of the session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is in description. Okay. Question number six. पे आ जाते हैं इसी बात पे. Where has the first model G20 meeting organized by India's G20 Secretary at along with United Nation India country office with the theme Youth for Life? राइट यूथ फॉर लाइफ की थीम के साथ मॉडल जी ट्वेंटी मीटिंग कहा ऑर्गेनाइज की गई सो ऑल सच इंपॉर्टेंट मीटिंग आर जनरली ऑर्गेनाइज इन दिल्ली एंड देर फोर द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो न्यू डेली ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन हाउ मेनी मिलियन टन ऑफ प्लास्टिक पैकेजिंग हैव बिन कवर्ड अंडर एक्सटेंडेड प्रोड्यूसर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर How many million tons of plastic packaging have been covered under EPR, Extended Producer Responsibility? So this is 2.26 million ton. Option C is the correct answer. An extended producer responsibility. What does it mean? It means it is the producer's responsibility. It is the producer's responsibility to recycle the uh, plastic waste. ठीक है? Question number eight. Which country recently lifted temporary ban imposed on the import of frozen seafood from India in November 2022? So this country has lifted this ban. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> lifted this ban which was imposed on the import of frozen seafood. Okay. So this country in question is Qatar. Option E is the correct answer. Let's talk about question number nine. Where has Semi Call India? Conference on Electronics Manufacturing Supply Chain Ecosystem been organized by India Semiconductor Mission. So this is a very direct question. I I can see there is no explanation required. It is it was just a conference. Just remember the name of the conference and where it has been organized. So it has been organized in New Delhi. Option C is the correct answer. Question number ten. Where has the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, headed by Mansukh Mandaviya? Uh, organized national organ and tissue plant uh, tissue transplant or organization scientific dialogue 2023 to brainstorm ideas about interventions and best practices in the organ and tissue transplant field for saving lives so basically it was a scientific dialogue of national organ and tissue transplant organization and this dialogue took place in new delhi again option e is the correct answer Question number eleven: Where will the first regional <coughs> PM Gati Shakti workshop for Central and Western Zone be held to build synergy among the different stakeholders, resulting in mutual learning among the states and central ministries or departments? So the first regional PM Gati Shakti workshop took place in capital of Goa, which is Panji. Option C is the correct answer. And question number twelve. Where has the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare hosted uh, the conference, the National Conference on Agriculture for Zaid Campaign of 2023? Once again, the correct answer is New Delhi. Once again, New Delhi. Option A is the correct answer. And the last question for today, very very important question. India will be launching cross-border connectivity between UPI and Pay Now to enable low-cost, faster, and 24/7 cross-border payments. Okay. So the question is, Pay Now is a fast peer-to-peer -peer payment system of which country? Pay Now is which country? You have to tell me. So it is. It belongs to Singapore. Option C is the correct answer. Okay, that is it for today's class. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye. Take care.
and God bless.